Andy Cohen is the reason why J-Lo is not a big fan of mine. So I met Jennifer a couple of times through a mutual person and we liked each other. We got along, you know, and, um, but just friendly, you know, like not acquaintances, but not BFFs by any means. And, uh, when I went on Watch What Happens Live in LA, like on that big stage, he said to me, did you ever date A-Rod while they were together? And I said, define date. This was like way long after the fact, years after the fact, and I was blindsided by the question. I said, define date. And he said something like, you know, did you ever go out? And I was like, I don't know, maybe dinner. And he said, was he a good kisser? And I said, I don't know, I don't remember. And like to get out. And when this mutual friend and I were texting, they were kind of icy and they said to me, um, it was provocative and you should have said, we're friendly and um, we're friendly and you know, I'm so happy for them. And what, and like, I didn't want to be like, we're friendly because I'm not someone who's going to go dine out on someone that I kind of don't know that well and be that person. So I just tried to like get out of the question. It was totally blindsided. I didn't expect that at all. It was completely caught off guard and I didn't have a script. So that's the reason that she's been fairly icy to me whenever I've seen her afterwards. And that's cool. I get it. You know, nobody's looking for more friends and I, I get it, but that's why. So thanks, Andy. He knows about this whole thing. He remembers.